Kate Middleton and Prince William end tour with visit to the Queen in Windsor for a special reason. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge ended their 1,250-mile journey around Britain with a trip to Windsor. Kate Middleton and Prince William are ending their tour across Britain aboard the Royal Train in the most regal setting of all, with a visit to Queen Elizabeth at Windsor Castle. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge joined Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall and other senior members of the family members on Tuesday afternoon as the royal family paid tribute to key workers, care staff and volunteers who help the vulnerable in the community close to the castle. The Queen's youngest son Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, the Countess of Wessex and Princess Anne were also in attendance. Notably absent was Prince Andrew who withdrew from public life in the wake of his friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Also missing were Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who have settled in California. The royals took in a performance of some Christmas carols by the Salvation Army Band, which helped bring the festive spirit to the castle's famous quadrangle. William and Kate, both 38, and Charles, Camilla, Anne, Edward and Sophie used the opportunity to greet a number of local volunteers and key workers from organizations and charities in Berkshire, who will be volunteering or working to help others over the Christmas period. Windsor Castle is the final stop on the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's tour of England, Scotland and Wales by the Royal Train, during which their Royal Highnesses have paid tribute to the work of individuals and organizations in response to the coronavirus pandemic. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's successful whistle-stop tour of Britain by Royal Train concluded at Windsor Castle this afternoon, where the Queen joined them in thanking local volunteers and key workers. The 94-year-old monarch's appearance was the first time she has been seen in public with her son Prince Charles and other senior members of the monarchy en masse since before the coronavirus pandemic took hold in March. William and Kate's grueling 1,250-mile trip to offer support to the nation was marred by thinly-veiled criticism from Wales and Scotland, despite it clearly falling within the guidelines because the royal couple were working. Prime Minister Boris Johnson praised their three-day tour as a welcome morale boost, as Downing Street sought to put distance between itself and the grandstanding of politicians in the devolved nations. The Queen enjoyed a Christmas carol performance on the steps of her Windsor Castle home on Tuesday evening, as she welcomed the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge after their tour. As the Salvation Army band played festive tunes for the Queen and her family gathered around her, the head of state could be seen quietly singing along. The Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall stood socially distanced nearby, as did William and Kate the Earl and Countess of Wessex and the Princess Royal with Christmas trees lit with lights nearby, adding to the atmosphere. However there was no sign of Prince Philip, who officially retired from royal duties in August 2017 and is now rarely seen in public, with his 100th birthday only six months away.